let's say that I actually wanted to create this to be um, a little bit of an estuary area. In other words, the river comes down and starts to get into some landmass, which is softer, and the river starts to break up into multiple streams. Um, to do this, there's a couple of ways of doing this, but the first thing to recognize is that this river here, if it was going to break up, all the pieces would become thinner. So I need to split this river. To do that, I'm going to use this command here, the split command. It asks me to select what entity I want to split this line. And then it says, where do I want to split it? I'm going to split it right down here where the river starts to curve out, because it seems to be to be a natural place, create this, this delta where all the river starts to break up. Now, on the surface, it doesn't look like much has changed. I'm going to zoom in nice and close. You can't see the break, but if I was to then use the property command here and select my line, right click, do it, and all I'm going to do is change the line width. And uh, I'm not actually sure what size those lines are, so I'm going to go for 0.5. Yeah, that's perfect. If I redraw, you can now see that where I split, we actually have two separate lines. Now they are at the same point because I split the one place, but you can now see I've got a lovely thin line like that. I'm now going to go and do more narrow splits, and I'm going to join this one just above that line. And I'm going to then join it onto the end there. So there's a little split which comes off. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to Excellent. Now these lines, they're all still a little bit thick. I want to make them all 0.5. So I'm going to use the um, change command and I'm going to select all of my lines. There you go. I've now got six of them selected. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to right click, go do it. And I'm just going to change that to 0.5. Done. Now, I also noticed I didn't quite collect that one there to the uh, to the beach. I must have missed that. So I'm going to use the move node tool to grab this end of this one. I'm going to use the on tool to bring it down to the end of my beach. Like so. Done. Now, if we zoom out, you can now see we've got a beautiful little delta right there. So what you learned from this is you can move a node, you can add a node, you can split lines, you can use the change property commands to then um, uh, change the width of those rivers manually. It gives you a huge amount of control. So that's a little bonus um, lesson. These are also great techniques for all sorts of other um, types of mapping. So I hope that's been useful for you. That's quite an advanced set of techniques. Um, try some of those in your maps as you're working on them. Try splitting a river and making it wider or thinner or whatever. Okay, I'll leave that with you now. See you in the next tutorial.